Hi, Zeus here. Critter cannons are overpowered, and I want to show you how to use them to take down 12 boosted ice statue bases with zero troop losses and other high ice bases like Global Number One without even an offensive boost. Leader is a member of the Red Hot Legends Task Force, a very skilled player from Kuwait, and I'm going to show you how he took down a 12 boosted ice base on the Global Leaderboard without even losing a single troop. And his attack is unboosted, so he's taken down a 12 boosted ice base without a, an offensive boost. So again, at the landing, it's very important to throw down strategic shocks, and he threw down two at the beginning. He's using Everspark with Hack here, and when he gets to a defense that can do a lot of damage to the uh, troops or to the defensive buildings, and he has the gunboat energy, he's gonna hack it. He throws down shocks strategically on uh, things that can deal damage to him, like uh, rocket launchers. And he's just chewing through this base. Now, it takes a long time because 12 boosted dice bases are uh, very strong, have a lot of health. This base also has a grappler, but one thing about uh, the critter cannons is if you have critters in all the right spots, the grappler is never going to go after any of your troops and it's only going to go after the critters that are being spawned by the critter cannons. One of the keys to taking down these bases is to have some firepower along with the critter cannons. And he has three boats of bombardiers with three bombardiers per boat, so nine bombardiers supporting the five boats of critter cannons, two critter cannons per boat. And then one of the key objectives that you've got to have is to take down uh, shield gens. In this case, he only takes down one shield gen but that is enough with the bombardiers pounding away on the core and the critter cannons uh, clearing out all of the defenses. At this point, because the grappler is distracted by the critters, he hacks one of the two remaining rocket launchers because the rocket launchers are the most dangerous thing that still remains on the defense. And with the other Shilgen down, uh, this base is beaten, and uh, he's beaten a 12 boosted ice base with six offensive statues unboosted. Pretty awesome. All right, now the, the next attack that I want to show you is also by leader, and this time he's taking down Global Number One, uh, who is a Chinese player by the name of M. Uh, actually who was a member of Red Hot Legends Task Force for a time. And M's got nine boosted ice on his base and a grappler, so similar to the other base but with less ice. But he also has a laser, and I have to say the lasers are pretty dangerous uh, if they start going after your bombardiers because only a couple of hits from the laser on the bombardiers, and the bombardiers are, are gonna die. So it's something that he has to be uh, mindful of and careful of, and so he's throwing down shocks on the laser as his troops get closer. Another uh, concern that he's got with this base is that boom cannon on the far left, and it, it can snipe critter cannons and bombardiers if he doesn't take it down. So with that down, uh, he's closing in on uh, success here. He throws down another shock on the laser and the rocket launcher behind it, because again, rocket launchers and the laser are the most dangerous thing to his troops. If he loses enough bombardiers, it's going to be really tough to complete taking down the base. Another concern is if there aren't enough critters in front of the core, the grappler will start to grab his bombardiers and then ultimately start to grab his uh, critter cannons. 
And as he's getting close to the core, he's still got three rocket launchers, uh, which are very powerful, still up and running. So the progress in uh, taking down additional weapons is pretty well halted at this point. And, um, you know, the only thing that's really making a difference at the moment is the bombardiers are still pounding away at the shield and reducing its health. If, if ultimately they can take down the shield, he can win. And notice that the critters cannons are, are not taking down the shield gen on the left. Uh, there's a, a machine gun there that's very well placed to clear out any critters that are thrown at that shield gen. Now finally, he's getting close to taking down the shield gen. He takes down the shield gen and uh, throws some critters behind the, um, the core to distract the weapons. And he's getting really close to taking down the base just with the bombardiers, and he's, and he's successful. So global number one goes down again Completely unboosted offensive attack with six statues against a uh, nine boosted ice base. Very impressive. So the next base that I want to show you is, again, another attack by leader, this time on a ten boosted ice base. Again, his offense is unboosted. Now, the landing is really critical. He throws down a shock on that mortar and the boom cannon. He throws down smoke so that his troops aren't sniped by the boom cannon on the left, that he doesn't shock. And he throws down a health pack on his troops in the landing area so that it can take the abuse from the rocket launcher and the shock launcher that are there without losing any bombardiers. And there's also the possibility that he can get attacked on the left by the rocket launchers there. So the smoke is really critical to making sure that all of your troops get to the landing zone. And if some of the bombardiers die on the landing, your chance of success in the attack on these highest bases is much less. You'll notice the boom cannon on the left on the landing area just sniped one of his bombardiers. Now he hacks the uh, shock launcher, because again, shock launchers can uh, do a lot of damage very quickly to the critters. And if enough critters die, and you're in a point where there's uh, a reloading of your critter cannons, then defenses can start picking off your troops, or the grappler can start grabbing your uh, troops. Now notice he's also thrown down a shock on the left side shock launcher and rocket launcher right over there to make sure that they don't uh, do any damage to his troops. And look, just one shot off the rocket launcher, one of his bombardiers did a lot of damage to that bombardier. So, you know, you can't withstand a full volley from a rocket launcher uh, that's uh, boosted at this level without losing a whole bunch of troops in a hurry. Now on the right side, the shield gen is protected by that flamethrower, and flame, when the flamethrower goes down, now it's possible for him to start to work at wearing down the shield gen and ultimately taking it down. So that's very positive. And he's thrown down another shock on the uh, rocket launcher on the left. But at this point now, his bombardiers are directly attacking it, so it's going to go down very soon. And it's directing its firepower at the critters on the front of the HQ, and not at the street. The uh, grappler there just grabbed one of his uh, bombardiers. And again, if you don't have enough critters strategically placed, it's going to happen. So, you know, over time, it's um, it's going to get a number of troops and lower your firepower. Now, the, the shield gen on the right went down. That dramatically weakened the shields. And he's getting close to victory here because um, once the other shield gen goes down, the HQ will go down very quickly. There it goes. And uh, at this point, this base is is beaten and there's just a massive swarm of critters on front of the 
face, quickly chewing through its health. One point to, to mention here is that during this uh, period where the critter cannons are on uh, main base as uh, proto troop, there is a tribe boost of 50% on gunboat energy, which is helping to uh, give everybody the gunboat energy to at least launch the critter cannons because critter cannons do take a lot of energy to launch. All right, now this is a, uh, a battle that I did uh, against a nine boosted ice base. Again, I throw down a shock on the uh, boom cannon and the mortar on the left, and I throw down a health pack on my troops and a smoke to prevent them from being sniped from the right side by a shock launcher or a rocket launcher. And again, if, if that happens and you lose some of your bombardiers on the initial attack, it's gonna be uh, very difficult to beat a base like this. Now the hot pot is a special problem because it can kill critters so fast that if you don't shock it when you're in range and starting to throw critters around, um, you're just not gonna make any progress other than what your, your bombardiers can throw at. Now the boom cannon on the left just went down, but in order to get it down, I had to throw a bunch of critter boxes on the machine gun that was protecting it and then my uh, bombardiers and the critters took that boom cannon down. If I didn't do that, I'm at risk of having my Everspark snipe or losing some other troops. One thing about having two shock blasters behind the core is they can quickly kill a lot of critters and it makes it difficult to uh, create enough critters to create a, uh, a wave effect of taking down defenses that are near near the core. So since my bombardiers just took down the shock blaster, I'm in much better shape now to actually beat this base. Another uh, point is uh, all along I've been throwing critters on that far right mortar because that's a great way to distract the boom cannon because my concern is that the boom cannon is uh, almost in range of some of my critter cannons there, and I don't want to lose critter cannons to being sniped by the boom cannon on the right. So once that uh, shock blaster went down, a lot of critters started accumulating on the front of the core, and uh, the shield went down and the core blew. So pretty cool, took down a nine boosted ice base without a single boost on offensive statues, and I'm using seven offensive statues, and I only lost two bombardiers. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give this video a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. That'll really help us build our channel, and there's a ton of great Boom Beach content, over 130 videos on our channel that you can go and explore, look through, and thanks, as always, to Hercules for help with the video editing. This is the day we fight. Bring the water to the...